Hello and welcome to the Aussie Z Combined Racing Leagues Bathurst 1000. We are here for session two. I'm your host, Dark Racing 40, and alongside me is Illogical Sport. Say hello, say hello Illogical. Hey man, how you going? Just make sure I check the box. Good oh, to right. go. That's, that's it. Um, so, as you can see, it's a wet weather session now. Yeah, the clouds come over and the rain set in. Yeah, so, yes. Just checking the audio here. Convenient timing, so, too. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, admin stuff. So, yeah, so another 40 laps here of session, or well, stint two, session two, whatever you want to call it. The Oz and Z Combined Racing League's Bathurst 1000. So, this is going to be a very interesting session. Yeah, it's been so, what the guys are going to do is this is going to be like a uh, uh, safety car. So the guys will take off and assume their position when they need to be. There we go. So everyone's slowly moving to their positions now. So Dado Racer inherits the uh, lead for the safety car restart. The Highlander in second. Uh, Tim and Jack is in third. Sato in fourth. With Commander Sirius in fifth. We have Commander Jim in sixth. Woody Lizard in seventh. And Dark Lord, he is going to pull up here on the left hand side because he's a lap down, so he has to remain a lap down this session. Oh, only one car, which is pretty good. And that's it. So, there we go, let's just shut the engine down. So I'll see how we go here for this session here. So he'll have to wait for the guys to come around. I think, I believe once the leaders come past, he can accelerate. So technically the race has actually started, but this is a safety car period. You can see it is really bucketing down rain here at Mount Panorama at Bathurst. Yeah, isn't it? It's definitely going to be a make or break session, isn't it? I believe this will be the session yeah. to... Yeah, couldn't agree more but... with that. It's the session you need to stay in the lead lap. If you go down the lead lap here, this is pretty much game over for you. Yeah. That's the riskiest session, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. VH supercars and water do not mix. Not at all. They don't stop, they don't turn, and all they want to do is go straight. Yeah, especially on the braking. And once you lock a tyre, it just stays locked. <laughs> that's it. So we're looking here at Highlander. He'll be edging to get this session underway. That's it. Commander Sirius has dropped off a little bit. Hopefully he's got no issues there. That's it. Just hanging back, playing it safe. That's it. Doesn't want to run in the back of anyone. The one thing you don't want to do is hit someone here and get some aero damage because it's going to be a long wait before you can fit. Oh, that's it. That'll cost you top line speed and a bit of uh, engine temp. These things don't like to be yep. front end hurt. No. But as it is as cold as it is right now, the engine temps shouldn't be that bad. That's it. Depends how much they close them up to, eh? That's it. So Dado will be able to accelerate his discretion, I believe, out of the chase. Enough to start finishing line. So we'll see him bunch up a bit more now. Oh, for those playing along at home as well, I um, I did go through all the fuel and check that they're all correct. Oh, yeah, we're using a new fuel formula system, so that's why if you watch the first session, a lot of the cars pit at the end of uh, on lap 39. So that's the fuel that the, that their teammate has to start this session with. That's so it. Some people have a lot more, some people have a lot less, so we'll see how we go. And the first person we'll see in the pit lane will be Woody Lizard. Yeah, they ended up a bit Jeez. short, didn't they? And was, I'm surprised they, they went that short, actually. Mm. So, so here we go. We just went on Gatto. He can accelerate at his discretion now. And there he goes. We are off. He's, looks like he's got a bit of jump over Highlander behind and closed up on him on the brakes here. And away we go. 
trying to break the draft here. We're trying to get some more temper ties. It's hard one. one. Get started, isn't it? In the wet when you're not sure. That's it. Oh, we'll a bit sideways back there. That's it. So let's try and have a look at Tim and Jack. Buckwood oh, should be in. going. Yes, he should be going now. All right, must be confused. That's unfortunate. That's it. Satter's now moved up into third place now. So these first couple of laps, you don't want to get any damage. You've got to get into a room. Everyone looking smooth though, nice and clean. Well, that, that's the key to racing in these cars in the wet. You've got to keep it smooth. That's it. So I am expecting to see quite a few damaged cars at the end of the season. Oh, absolutely. Even just sliding and grazing walls. Might not do any damage, but I'll definitely look scuffed yeah, by the end. But... Yeah, sideways slide and knock, you know, potentially knock off the mirror. That's it. So this will be the longest session time-wise because the lap times are going to be atrocious. Yeah. We're looking around 2, 13, 14, 15 lap times, even higher. As they make their way down the mountain for the first First time in anger. Uh, yeah, Darko, yeah, so Darko has quite got his uh, start procedure wrong. Should have gone by now. Absolutely, yep. So Woody's got commander Jim already. I think Jim must have just let him pass, but he's still right there with him. I, see, I think Jim's struggling a little bit with the wet. We'll see where he goes along. Long session. You can keep it out of the walls and make extra pit stops. You can still be there at the end. That's it. Yeah, you've got two minutes up your sleeve, so you... you... Pit stop with damage is only about a minute, so... Yeah, but it's extra time you don't really want to give away. That's if you right. Can help it. Absolutely. Alright, first lap. First racing first lap. First lap of Angus. So we'll see what the lap... See what the... Uh, oh, that... Is that Tim Jack coming to pit lane? No, he's just going defensive from Cirrus. Oh, he has hit the wall already. So there's our first bit of damage that we can uh, see. Yeah. Oh, he's loose. Oh. oh, they've come together. No hard feelings, I'll keep going. There's an unfortunate mistake there. With wheel spin and one car accelerating, and then the other one not quite a bit of a tag there. That's it. So Tim Jack gets out of the way. He's probably got a severely damaged car now from that whack to the wall. So I won't be surprised if we see him in. If the car's atrocious, you can't really continue with a wet car. No. It's, it's just going to be I think to be getting away with it. Yeah. Sideways through there, looking good. Oh, Tim's dropped another place there. Yes, yep. Uh, yeah, could so have... these cars quite, quite badly handling us, eh? Oh, yeah, it's crabbing. Look at it. Unless I should see him on the throttle. Oh, Woody runs out wide. Yeah. It looks like a nickel wall. We've got away with it. You're going to see a lot of that here this session. Here's Sato, 15. Closing on the Highlander. The Highlander's closing on Dado. Yeah, they find their groove, hey? Well, it's going to be worse for the two guys behind him because they're going to have the extra spray. But Dado's just going to have the rain. So, and he can clearly, you know see much better. These guys are going to have a harder time to see. That's it. And there's Dark Lord. He's finally on the rolling. We head down Colin straight now. Look at the spray just come off these cars. Into the chase. The braking is going to be so critical in these cars. Absolutely, yep. <coughs> And now we're going to come to the most interesting part of the track, uh, this last corner here. Well, we're getting reports that the puddle is starting to develop here. Already? Oh, wow. Just see it there. There it is. Look at that. The puddle is just starting to develop now. Yeah, that's pretty quick. So, I think it's, if you stay on the inside line, you'll be fine. But it's going to get to a point where you, we're going to see some people hit that puddle and they're going to loop it. So, it's going to be interesting. And that puddle will expand. So, we'll see how we go for the rest of the session here. That's it. He's our top three within 
1.5 seconds of each other. That's crazy in the wet too, all line of stern. Well, 218, 217, 217, so they are the fastest guys that their team jack is in pit lane right now. So obviously he's getting his car repaired. Yep. Uh, Highlander and Saturday I believe can go faster than what they have, but Dano's just in front, he's just backing up their pace a bit. Yeah, he's going to do an early pit compared to these two, so you're probably trying to hold him up a bit. Not let him get away. Oh, sideways coming over that rise. Looks good, eh? Oh, yeah. This is the uh, most painful wall in the whole track there. Come to McFillity, you get that wrong there, you'll tag that wall quite hard. And this is one of the most trickiest part of the wet now because the car gets light over the rise. And you need to get the car slowed down. You're doing over 200 clicks down to at least, what? Before you hit the dip, you're doing about 100? Yeah, you're about that. 100 clicks. Yep. Yeah, very, very critical point, isn't it, when you're trying to be fast but safe. That's it. Oh, and it's all over the back of that, eh? That's it. So, you'll get the draft here, but he's not close enough to really utilise it. So, these guys' speed coming to the chase is going to be way higher than they would normally like, so they've got to be careful. But they don't wash out too far. Well, here he goes, Highlander. He's just sending from no man's land. Well, oh, that, that is ready to go. Dada's gone off to the dirt. And we should see a Vegas set. Oh, Vegas Dada cutting the grass. So Sato's position on that manoeuvre. Would have been better for Dado just to let um, Highlander go through. Well, there's that. See, there's the results of that yeah, puddle. Yeah, yep. Not force, not force the issue. Uh, Dado did well then That's to um, hang on to it. Highlander wasn't quite far enough ahead to try and make that move, but maybe he's under brake and just couldn't get it pulled up. See, the worst thing is, once you start overdriving in the wet, you end up start overdriving even more and you start going backwards. And That's it. So. Exactly right. The Highlander lost out, but he hasn't really lost too much time. He's still there on Sato. Yeah. Well, because Dado for you is... Um, had to slow down things for you to get rid of it, and then Sato had that little incident in the final call in the puddle. Yeah. So it's really net, just change of position basically, and not really anyone net gain, net loss. So That's it. It's still about 1.7 seconds separating these top three. <coughs> I think some of these other drivers too will be happy that they're in no man's land, just run their own laps with their own numbers. That's it. Like, well, Sirius isn't too far off the pace to no. beat the data. 218 is last lap, so he's just about there. He's seven seconds behind, but that's pretty much... I think his main goal is just to sort of stay in it. Yeah. I don't think he needs to try and be the fastest. He just needs to hang in there. That's it. Watch Sato climb over the curves over the S's there. You've got to be careful of that. It can give you a time penalty, but because they're going so slow, the time penalty almost just appears before you even cock it. So. Yeah. 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 So you can almost round. actually literally just, a, just about cut it every single time. That's it. <coughs> I wonder if Highlander awesome. might have got any damage from that incident too, like a bit of a bit of right hand down. Yeah, I don't think so. It's more seems to be side to side. He didn't come in barging. Yeah. So it's probably upset his tyre pressures and he's just like taking a breather right now. Yeah. Because he knows it's a long he knows it's a long race still. We're only in session two or four. That's it. I see how serious is going. So they're Keep slow. On the island. Lap time, they're a bit slower than I was expecting. I thought they were going to be down the 14, 15s, but well, we'll give them a couple of laps. But the track's just going to get wetter, wetter, and wetter. That's it. There you go jumping that curb, pulling that puddle. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, 16 for Sato. Uh, 17 for Sirius. So Sirius is there. Yep. He's just behind. So that's what he probably wants, he's Woody. He should be coming in in the next lap or two, I'd say. Yeah. 20 litres, you burn about 4 litres, but they're going slow as they're probably down to 3 litres. Plus a formation lap, so we'll see how we go. About 4 litres, I think, still about right in the wet. So on lap 6, so he should be coming in this lap. Yeah, this lap or maybe the next lap, we'll see. 
<laughs> Once I burn off a bit of fuel yeah. and get a bit more confident in the car, yeah. that time's drop a bit. Even Dark Lord's 217.1, yeah. he's doing well as well. That's it. If you can keep that pace up, you might be able to unlap himself and gain, gain that lap back, so... That's it. He's got a full tank as well, so yeah, that's his opportunity to try and get back on the lead lap. Well, the question would be then, do you pit right at the end if you're lap down, or do you just take the risk and go, well, I'm just going to get myself back on the lead lap? That's it. Well, oh, big slide there from Dado as he comes into the forest elbow. This is probably the easiest part for these guys to drive down Conrad because the car shouldn't move around too much. There's no puddles to develop here. That's it. So lots of blaze, windscreen wipers working over time. Down to the chase. A little bit squirrely. So we see how these guys handle this puddle here, the final corner. So you really got to get the car slowed right up. Basically just do what's happening. <laughs> and, and just, well, as you can watch Highland, you see that hollow <laughs> yeah. doesn't wiggle. you really just got to get up on that curve to avoid it. Yeah, because once you actually plane, you sort of go straight and then all of a sudden the car grips up and then it over-rotates. It's a very tricky yeah, one. Yeah, they end up spinning, so... That's it. You can go through that puddle if you, if you lift your end guard dead straight and then once it's gripped up again then you can get back onto it. Yep. So 216 for Dado, 216 for Sato, 217 for Highlander, 217 for Sirius and here comes Woody Lizard so he's coming for his stop now. Right on time. So I wonder, wonder if you'll do tyres. Well, I'll be taking tyres now actually because you've got nothing to lose. Yeah. Probably, the tyres are probably worn down a bit, you probably get some extra grip out of the car too. Yeah. Well that's it, it's part of the strategy isn't it, trying to work out. But then, has he chewed enough of the tyre to get a benefit out of changing them? Because assumedly you get six laps better tyres towards the end of the life cycle, when we need to get to drive. Oh yeah. Is that enough? Nice. Oh, I reckon it is. Yeah. And we always seem to find with the V8 supercars, what, when you put a second set of tyres on them, the second set always seems ah, to be yeah. better than the first set, always. Yeah. The first set always just seems to die a lot quicker. Very true. Just, no matter what wet or dry, so if you put the, the second set on, it's just the car comes to life and the tyres last hang in there way, way better. They do, don't they? It's weird, eh? So, so Tim's made up that position yeah. on Woody now. Yep, so Woody's, yeah, he must, yeah, I say he's changed tyres, probably do some repairs too. It's a long, long stop. Leaves down, come down, come on, but Woody will get out of pit lane, so it won't be a lap down. That's it. So we're at least expecting to see everyone potentially pit at least twice in this session. I believe that's the bare minimum we'll see. Well, maybe, the guys on the full maybe, field maybe, could get away with one. Well, it depends on what their strategy is, if they're going to pit right at the end lap, or they're going to go to the next session. That's so. it. But I'd say the safe bet will probably see. Oh, might see a person throw a one, throw a one-stop strategy. So it's an opportunity, isn't it? And that's what a lot of these guys will be looking for, trying to find well, opportunities. It, it comes down to when is the rain going to stop, and yeah. when can you slip, jump over to the slicks? Like, can your fuel distance make it to that window? That's it. So if it can't, well then you're going to have to come back in again. Well, absolutely, yeah, that's it. So top three all doing competitive times, 216th now. Sirius is still 217, so he's still there. Command Jim in 220s. Tim and Jack 219s. Woody's just out of pit lane. Dark Lord 219s. You can see him right there behind Sirius. Oh yeah, I was just trying to work out who that was. Yeah, Dark Lord. So he's a lap and a, lap and a half down. Uh, almost two laps down. So I might have to talk to the admin about that and maybe Give him one of those laps back. Yeah. Like, yes, it's his mistake, leave. but, you know, actually yeah. happened. You should, you, that's it. You should, you should have left on the, when the guy went past, because the race started. That's it. With that formation lap, so therefore one lap will be complete. That's right, we'll see what happens here at the end here, so... 
Dado still leads Sato. Sato to get a bit of a wiggle and cut mm. the grass. So you can see people already, you can see the mud that's starting to be brought to the track now from other people doing the exact same thing there. Now something I've never understood in this in this simulator is does that mud mud affect grip on the track? Um, I believe it does to a degree. Okay. How bad it is, well, that depends on how many people do it, but it will it will develop a dirty line. Yeah, okay. But it should be, should be a right so. Just another thing to be aware of, isn't it? That's it. That's right, Nova, yeah. Yeah, good to see him back on the lead lap. I'm sure I'm going to work that out. Highland, Highland has dropped off a little bit. He's still doing the same lap times, but he seems to be falling off these two a bit. Maybe he lost their draft, so... No, I think he's sort of just doing his own thing now. Working with numbers? Well, his lap times in the previous lap weren't that slow, so we'll see where he goes this lap. Yeah, he's, he's still there in lap yeah. pace. But as you know, this is a long session. You've got to get through the session. That's it. Same thing will happen to me in session one. I had a little incident, I tagged the inside wall and had um, aero and suspension damage. I had to run the car with, for 12 laps of right hand down. And that's all it takes, so, right? no point. Oh, yeah, there's no point stopping because I was going to lose a minute. Yeah. Um, I thought, well, I'll just keep running the car because I knew how much how much seconds I was losing the lap, so it's kind of worked out to be the same. Yeah. I could have saved some time and not repaired the car in the pit stop, but I wanted to lease the car for a nice lap for one lap. Yeah. Yeah, you want a safe lap, so, don't you? Don't want to put it in the wall again and do extreme damage by accident. Yeah, and then you lose even more positions, so... That's it. The Sirius in the 16s now as well. Yeah, so he's getting his groove on. Yeah, he's working it out. Lap 9 of 40 for this session. It's session 2 of uh, Z combined recently. He's Bathurst 1000. And as you can see, it is wet, 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 wet. Man, the gym just struggling to pull up there at the cutting. You need some scratches, but shouldn't be hurting him too much. No. Let's keep an eye on this battle. So, yep. so I just can't seem to close in enough on, on Dado. Dado's just doing enough to help keep him at bay. That's it. Also, Sato knows that Dado will be pitting earlier than he is. Yeah, that's it. For fuel. About so the point is, if he's, do, if he's doing competitive lap times, he doesn't really need to pass him. Yep. They can use him to um, get that little bit of extra hay. Up a tenth down the straights, up and down the straights. That's it. They're expecting Dado's trying to... Dado and. Not uh, Commander Jim to come in at about lap 12 ish. Let's see what happens here. See. It's Holland is fast as the first round that lap time in 216. These guys are in 217s. Yeah. Uh, I think seriously, yeah, let's say seriously is an instant because he just dropped him out of time. 227. Oh, there he is. Speaking of instant, so he just overshot it. I'm not sure I'm going to pull a car. It's still straight, so I must just uh, run off somewhere. Yeah, just overshot it. Yeah. Might have just had a spin at the puddle. How's Woody travelling back here? Uh, Woody's lap times is 2.18, so he's not that far to face. He's a minute 27 behind. That's it. Getting comfy. So he's sort of no man's land, just needs to do his own thing. Run the car around. And so Tim. Tracks ahead of him. Yeah, he had a bad lap that lap two. Oh, his bumper's slapping. Oh, so he's hit the wall again. Yeah, it really doesn't take much in this. You lock it up and the car just wants to go straight and then that's it. That's Corner it. into a wall. Yeah, he's, and you start driving the car more aggressively and you do it even more. Yeah. Here's Woody in the background. 
let's see what Tim Jack's lap time is this time around. Two twenty four. Two twenty four. Oh, that's right, we got the wrong car. Yeah. <laughs> so two twenty. Uh, Simo, so we checked all the fuel at the start. Everybody's on the correct fuel. Yeah, this battle still goes on. So in, in theory, that puddle has removed one area for, for someone to actually make a move on you. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, unless you really balls up coming out of the chase and they get up inside of you, then it's kind of a one-line track there for now. That's it. Yeah, it must be hard if you don't get the car pulled up nicely on one lap or something and, it, and it, you get it, you find yourself in that puddle. Oh yeah. You can lose half a and second easily. Is, oh, more than that, I reckon. Yeah. So the lead is still on lap 11 now. Those couple of laps, Dado and who do I say? Commander Jim should be coming in for fuel. Looks like Simo's in the chat trying to get all the data. <laughs> That's it. Take a squirrel sus. <laughs> <laughs> so down through the S's here. Just going to be nice and smooth. Soft brake application, soft throttle, soft throttle steering inputs. That is a lot closer this time around now on Dado. Ooh. Oh, he's hit the log. Here we go, arrow. Uh, I think that might have been just enough side glance actually, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny how you can hit the car side on. Like, you just brush the wall or slam the wall side on, you get no damage at all. I remember at uh, Sonoma when Sato and Highlander had their tangle, and I just locked it up and slid straight into, side, into Sato sideways, and I got no damage out of it at all. So, you hear a back marker coming ahead of these guys, which should be. I don't know who it actually is, we'll find out in the next. Probably the next. Nah, uh, I think it's Tim and Jack. Yeah. Yeah. So he's really struggling with left on of 2.44. Yeah, he's probably best to come in and just fix damage, just to reset the car. Oh, yeah. Sure. You, you put, if, even, if, even if he's in the 20s, you're giving up 20 seconds of lap right now. That's it, yeah. So you might come and fix the car, put fresh set tires and go back out there again. Well, that's it. Two, three laps and you've made up the time it takes for pit stop. Oh, see, bang. Yeah. Oh, that whack to the wall. I'll get off here for the moment. So that's going to be interesting when these two guys get, get to him, because they're going to get to him really quickly here, I reckon. Yeah. Alright, let it do 219 that last lap. Same as Sirius. See so I wonder if the track's getting trickier to navigate as the race goes on, if it gets wetter. I think that the track's getting a little bit wetter, the puddles are getting bigger, and the tyres are running out of grip, so... The puddles, yeah. And the tyres, yeah. So it's just the worst combination of everything. It's amazing how quickly the V8s go through tyres, isn't it? That's it. So we can just hear, um... Tim and Jack, there he is. So these two guys should, in theory, get to him on Conrod. So they're not going to lose too much time here. You just seen there. As you go on board a Sato. So you just see Tim and Jack there, up the front. I think if he gets out of the way, maybe goes for a pit. Well, otherwise, they might have to wait for Mountain Straight. Yeah, they're not, yeah, not going to get in here. There's a puddle there, so I'm developing the chase mm. too. Yeah. 
hear the, hear the light up the rear tyres if I get acceleration now. Jackson moves over to the side here, and Dado and Sato should just drive blast past him. That's it. That's a bit risky there, isn't it? Like trying to get past early. Like if he's not straight, hasn't got the power down yet, he could, you know, flick left or right un unexpectedly, like he did in front of Sirius. So top three still doing similar lap times, two seventeens. Yeah, so Tim picked up his pace there, two twenty six. So okay. It's still. Still not great. It's probably still be worth to pit the car. The, the amount of damage we can see on it right now. Yeah. But I sort of suggest the car's okay, it's just got to get the lap together. That's it. Oh, I didn't notice, but Woody actually got past him too earlier. Woody's car's so nice and clean. That's it. Find a few cars that's still nice and clean so far. That's it. Let's have a look at how Dark Lord's travelling around right now. Yep. Well, his car's not clean. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the bonnet's all crimped up. Is he in front of Commander Series? I oh, used to, yeah. I believe so. So he's struggling with the car. You can see yeah. it's squirming all over the shop. Very squirmy. Yeah, he's got no front end bite on that thing by the look of it. Dado's still going at it. 13 laps at it right now. Mmm, lap 13, yeah. So it can't be long. Onto the brakes here. Avoid that puddle on the left, or the right hand side of the chase. I think Dado's getting really good drive out of a lot of these corners here. That's it. And he Ooh, no. he fakes it. What a cheeky boy. Straight over to the inside, the entrance to defend his line. Oh, oh the brakes here. In the background there. Oh, there he goes. What was that? I thought oh, that no. was Tim and Jack. Oh, it was too, Tim yeah, and Jack. Yeah, So he's hit that puddle. Oh, you can hear he's up a gear trying to, trying to get the power down. Trying to, or trying to reduce wheel speed. That's it. Where the gym's had a bad lap there too, somewhere. Yeah, 228. Oh, quickest man on track is Woody. 217. So those extra tyres have finally kicked in now. That's it. And maybe the rain's starting to ease up a little bit now. So this just shows you the pace of having fresh tyres on now at this stage. Yeah, it's really paying off for him, that's for sure. <coughs> and again, in no man's land, so it's just be laughing to his own numbers. That's it. Not worrying about anyone else. You can see what lap times he's doing. You can see what lap times he's, he's doing. You know if he's going good or bad. So the next car for Wood is Commander Jim, who's about 30 seconds up the road. There's a pit stop ahead, so... I'll assume a minute off his time, if yeah. everybody does too. So it's probably about Commander Jim's, uh, Commander Sirius' spot at the moment, fourth or fifth. Let's see how he negotiates the final corner. Oh, clean through there, look at that. I think he's just keeping it in the high and gear, letting the car roll through the corner and then just put the power down. Yeah, I think you're right. So no, ch no chance of wheel spin. I'll take any dramatic things here. Another 217 for Woody. Yeah. So he's definitely, those pressure tyres are definitely playing, are being good to him right now. Here goes Dado, and Dado's going to pit lane now. Alright, Dado's in, yep. So lap 14. Oh, that's in the puddle. Oh, Sato. Alright. Sato just lost his braking marker, and here comes Highlander. So Dado hits pit, hit lane now. So I'm assuming we begin to fresh out the wet weather tires on and fill up the tank. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see how quick he's in there. My hint. And Commander Jim. 
see the other one? Yes. I swap on the mountain. It's Holland. So Holland has been given back a couple of seconds now. That's it. Yeah, he's down to about five behind. A four behind Sato. So made up to two and a half on that. Half spin. Man, yeah, Sirius had another bad lap at 2.21. Had another mistake somewhere. Ah, uh, yep. He's still in there. Is he in third right now? Dado's still in pit lane now. It's a very long stop, actually. Yeah, a full tank takes quite a while, doesn't it? So you see the dirt being dragged onto the track as guys put some of the curves there. And there's Commander Jim. Commander Jim and Dado is rolling. We lost and about a minute. Pit lane here. Yeah. Nice and smooth, bit of a wiggle there. Where's Woody? At the chase. Pick up. <sighs> so Commander Jim's getting his service, so there'll be fuel and tires for him. And Woody will easily get a little bit of a wiggle there. <laughs> Dark slide to that puddle. So he goes Woody. Woody will take over at fifth position now. There we go. Yeah, again, Jim long pit stop, isn't it? Jim getting tires right now. That one's... Oh, Highlander couldn't stop at that time. Runs wide. You've got to be careful on the grass now. If it's wet, you don't want to... Oh, gas up too much to do exactly that. That's get the big it. wiggle. I wonder if the dirt that's been dragged on, we're serious here, um, been dragged on through the apex of this corner, might be affecting the braking zones. That's it. You have a look on the inside. As I know, Sato's been running that curb a lot, just to get it. Yeah, look at it all. So it's down nice and easy. Feeds the power and short shift there. So 216 for the Saturday, the previous lap. Yeah, now it's got clear air. You can see properly. Highland's only three seconds behind him. Commander is 30 seconds, and Dado is a minute 10 behind. But these guys still gonna have to at least stop maybe once or twice more, so we'll see how we go. That's it. He's got a lap car, that must be Commander Jim. Yeah, it is. That's Jim ahead of him. So right now, we're looking at only two cars that are a lap down right now. That's Starfleet and Tim and Jack. Commander so Jim's next on the... Uh... Oh, Ooh, hang on, Sato. He's he got just it. pulls it up. Very slippery to the dipper there. Lucky not to hit the wall there. Yeah, no, he did well. Yeah, it's hard when the car gets Dado's loose. in pit lane again. Dado's in pit lane again. So what's going on here? Fuel's gone, top up. Not sure. Maybe you didn't get something you needed, like tyres or fuel. Maybe. Maybe. If that's the case, if they didn't check. Or oh, he's had another crash somewhere. Yeah, it might have slid into a wall. Did some suspension damage. Yeah, because this is taking a bit of a while. Oh, there, there we go. go. He's off. Well, we'll see if there's any damage to the car. Because the damage won't get repaired here. Is that? Look like and it's crabbing. Commander... No, that's just pit lane. There's Commander Jimmy. He exits uh, the final corner. Like, off the track. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dado's going to go down a lap here. So, I think he's going to get a pit lane before these guys get to him. Or... No, this... no, he's just going to have pit lane. He's so just, he's just out, yep. yep. That's right. I'm going to keep it in front of Sato, he's good to go. That's it. And then Highlander's got fresh tyres, so... So Highlander's flashing the lights of Commander Jim Payne. Let me pass this as quickly as you can. I think Commander Jim tried to slow up then. Oh, I think he's just nicked the side glance of all, that's right. Yeah. 
But Highland's got the move done, so he can continue on his hunt down for Sato. So Woody. Woody's now into fourth. He's running 2.17 lap times. That's it. Yeah, looking strong. So he's minute 24 behind Sato right now. Not, not a lot going on right now in this session. I think it's just more survival for this session right now. That's it. Just got to get get to the end of this session, try not to make any extra stops, try not to prank the car, just survive it. And the rain is just starting to ease up a fraction bit now. That, oh, Woody. The he tanks that, right that puddle. But that puddle ain't going nowhere soon. No. It's going to be around for quite a while. His commander Jim. So he's been left by Sato and Highlander. Yeah, yeah, but his time doesn't really reflect that, does it? Uh, no. I suppose by the time he catches up to where they are, That's it'll it. be that difference in time. Yeah, I okay, get it, makes sense. Ooh, Ooh no. It looks like the rain's easing up, doesn't it? It's just spinning now. Yeah. Lap 16. It's just spin it. Rain sun ease up a bit now, but it's still a wet, wet track out there. So Sato, 216 previous lap, Highlander 218. Commander Sirius at 219. I don't know how Sirius hasn't come through the line yet. There's Dado just ahead of you. Yeah. His pit lane exit lap time was at 2.23. So we'll see this lap where his pace is at now. I think Highlander do the top of the mountain now. Two silly in a lap before this one. So they're still finding the pace yeah, when they get the lap to right. Still learn to be smooth, not make mistakes. Or do stuff like that. <laughs> That's risky, eh? So who's he got in front of him? Oh, that's Dado. Yep. That's Dado's just ahead of him. Yep. So it's safe to say Dado with some fresher tyres on his car. Should be able to scamper away from Sato. Yeah, maybe the extra fuel caught Dado out. Coming out of Trying to find his braking zones again. It looks like his front right's a little bit out of shape. Yeah, so he might have ploughed the wall and decided I can't deal with the car. It's going to be enough to go this long. That's it. Damaged car, so he decided to just come and get the repairs done. That's it. And that's smart. So you can put Dado into the final corner. Manages the puddle quite nicely. Let's see what lap time he can do. Two fourteen. Two fourteen. So that shows you how how quick the car can be with the fresh air tyres. And the rain's starting to back off a bit now. Yeah, so that's two fifteen. So the track must be drying out a little bit, or they're getting a bit of a race race. Um, what am I trying to say? Like a dry pass. What? Dry line. Dry line. Oh, I don't think it's going to be a proper dry line yet. Uh, maybe just a little bit, just to get that a little bit extra grip. Maybe even just get heat in the tyres, because I know they're probably running really cold. Oh, that's really what. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so that could be a potential slowdown, but in the wet, I don't think it's really going to matter here. Nice big flame at exhaust. Here's Highlander. Six seconds back now. Still there. Doesn't have to do anything special. That's it. Across the top of the mountain he goes. Drops down into the grate. 
into McPhillany. Comes up to Skyline now. And you start dropping down the mountain, head through the S's first. Got to get your car slow down here for the dipper. You got to feed the power on carefully. No, it's a forest elbow. Yeah, it's critical to have the car stable through there, hey. Oh, it is. Like if you're squarely yeah, trying to hit on the anchors, so easy to rotate. What bumping that? Yeah, it's quite bumpy in that section, you wouldn't think it, but it is. It's there. And you have this massive drop off and the car in the rear, so if it starts chattering, then the chance of going around high, because I had a few times where the rear's just locked up on me and next year I'm slowing it in, you know. That's it. Rally cross style. I'm like they're getting good grip through that, that kink there. That's it. A little bit of a slide there from Highlander. Holds it well. Yeah, it'll be interesting sure, how we get here. the track will dry out, but that puddle will still be there, so... Another 2.16 for Sato. 2.17 for Highlander. Uh, Dado with another 2.14 mm. he did, so he's... He's showing the pace of these, of these young whippersnappers right now with a fresh set of boots. That's it. That's quite a difference with the, the, the fresher tyres, two seconds. That's it. So we're halfway through this sit now on lap 20. He's Commander Cirrus. The second car for P51 Sim Sports here today. That's it. Is it two, yeah, 218? Let's travel well. Woody, Woody's still. Yep. That's it. Woody's doing quite well too, but 216 in the previous lap. That's it, yeah. So it can show you the pace of those fresh tyres. Woody's going as quick as Sato is right now. Actually, pit stops are going to be interesting because everybody's going to have different fuel levels, different amounts of damage if they choose to fix it. So it's going to be hard to predict who's going to come out where. That's it. Sato might have lost a bit of time coming in for a second stop, but he's... Doesn't need as much fuel. No. So he might get a little advantage than that. Well, they probably topped him up five liters of fuel in that stop. Yeah. So that's so that's five liters is, is is one more lap in theory that he can go. That's it. So yeah, it definitely looks like the rain is definitely easing up now. The track is still most definitely wet. I'm going to have a look here. Serious glides the car down. Onto the power. Oh, just glances at the wall there. Sounds like Sirius is holding third gear through there. She's not going for the extra downshift. She's just keeping it on gear. Oh, Saturday's out, isn't it? Oh, that's, that's not ideal. Yeah, I crunched the front of the Falcon. Oh, it doesn't look straight either. I landed safe, but he is just keep going, get to get to the uh, pit stop window. Yeah, well, it's tricky because it's really unknown, isn't it? When the rain's going to stop and it. When the traffic can be dry enough. Still sprinkling lightly. Yeah, it's just sporadic for here. Big off power slide there for Highlander. A little bit of dirt mother dragged on there. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah, must sort of work Highlander's having to do right now. Yeah, that front right must Ooh, be just hit. must be shot. You just see the end, you can just see the lock up the engine revs just dip then. That's very dirty. That's it. Yeah. 
Yeah, no left turn. Very similar to how it felt in the dry too, isn't it? Some tires can let go on the front rocks. That's it. There's still going to be a few puddles around, so they're going to, even though the track dry, they're going to try and hold their line. If they try and overtake somewhere, they might get caught out on a puddle. That's it. Well, there's a puddle right there, you can see. You can see it. They go too wide through there. The chaos. Now, this looks dry through. Ah, oh, it's still spinning. Yeah, it's still spinning a bit. Maybe Conrad has, has stopped. I don't know, hanging on for dear life. Let's see what his lap time is now. 2.19. So that's not great, but it's not bad. No, it's still quick. So, just needs to hang on till, the, till we get to his pit stop. Dado's doing 13, but Woody's right there doing 14. So the fresher tyres have definitely come in. Yeah. Oh, there's a speaker. That's it, commentator's curse. That's it. He has got a graze on the right side, so he must have brushed the wall somewhere. So I'd say the track has reduced... The rain's practically come to a stop here. Dado's pumping out two thirteens. Yeah. And the fresh tyres are really helping him out right now. There's Commander Jim. Just ahead of Cirrus. All right, lap down, yep. Uh, Cirrus is in the 216, same pace as Highlander. Let's have a look at the spray. The spray is telling, isn't it? The spray is the good indication of how track the wet, um, how wet the track still is. Yeah, yeah. Basically, if sprays come up the tyres, you know you have to be on the wets right now. That's it. But once that goes, start thinking about coming in for slicks. That's it. Well, Jim rides that kerb. Yeah, looks like he got stuck on it, didn't he? Yeah, that happens sometimes. You can't quite get off it. You have to just keep driving the car straight. And he struggles Jim to get it into the dipper. Give Jim is serious as a chance to go past now. Yeah, look at that, it's reduced the sprays or well, most of there and then all of a sudden it picks up again, doesn't it? Yeah, it just spots of it. There you go, puts him through. Give him a flash of the lights on and say thank you. And then completely over Oh no! It. And around he goes. Then there's still. Yeah. Oh, wait, stop, hit the brakes. You can see all the money just dragged yeah, into the track just there. Who's coming down behind him? Woody. Oh, he's a pair way off there. That's it. So what last time was Woody? Woody's in the 215s. Dado's still in the 213s. I landed in the 216s. Dado's in the 221s with the damage. Serious? Well, that lap ain't going to be 216. No. The sun's starting to come out now. You can see the sun's starting to it's getting mm. right on the track now. Yeah, it did, didn't it? it just got bright all of a sudden. So Dado, fast amount of track right now. He's been clawing chunks out of the times out of the leaders. Been at least, what, three seconds lap quicker yeah. than the last couple of laps? Yep. Puddle. You can even see the sun there, the spot on the front straight there. Yep. It's a very pretty game, this one, isn't it? That's it. They've done well with the ambient lighting and that. And that's something I noticed when in session one was that it was dark in certain areas of the track, one lap, and then bright in the next next lap. That's it. 
It's nice to see, but sometimes it really throws me up my breaking markers, so... Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've had that too. It's like you come around and go, where's that shadow? There's, yeah. a, there's, a, there's a small shadow I use on the track and then all of a sudden you can't see the shadow. That's shadow's it. Like, oh, I'll break here. That's it. Oh, that is a crunch Falcon from Dark Lord. Yeah, I wonder if that's repaired. Oh, no. I'm no, that is not repaired. So these guys will just be hanging on now until it's time to put slicks on. Yeah. I think he's almost at the point where he's three laps down now. Yeah, he must, must be getting close. Tim's lap down, Commander Jim's lap down, here's Tim Jack. But he's been dealing with this damaged car for quite a while. He has, yep. A little in 20. You can see the reduce of sprays coming off the tires now. Look how bright that is in that part of the track. Yeah. So Highlanders just dip down to the 214s. That's pretty good for a set of tires that have done 24 laps so far. That's it. Serious in the 215s. Big wiggle there from Highlander. The next thing I have to worry about too is is their fuel going to last long enough? And then they have to come in and put six on while the track's still a bit greasy. Whoa, oh, gets up on the curb there. Well, we'll see what happens because their fuel window is going to be coming up soon in the next two to three laps. That's it. Is someone going to roll the dice and keep put a set of slicks on, or is the track still going to be too wet? Are you just going to keep your wet on, do a couple laps, and then pit for slicks. That's it. You can see that now, the rain's definitely stopped. A lot brighter here. I think that is... I can't tell that to who, who's ahead of all that. I feel here. like it's Dark Lord. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yep. And it is Dark Lord. Dark Lord on the verge of going down on another lap here. Sneak on past there. High number 213 now. Woody did a 213 too. Dado's in the 211s. So yeah. The track is definitely starting to come That's good it. now. Yeah, he's definitely making the most of those tyres. Oh, Sato's in. And Sirius is, Sato's pitting now. He feels like, yep, now it's time. Oh, I think he's crashed the car again here. Oof. Because that rear wing is all crunched up and it wasn't before. So the question is, are you going onto slicks now and try and roll the dice? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Big gamble, eh? Who's that coming in? Ah, uh, Commander Jim. Commander Jim. I don't know, maybe the, car, the track is feeling good now. Well, we'll see what happens. So we've got a feeling it might be just too early for slicks right now. But you see, there's no spray coming down Conrod. A little bit mm. of spray looks like going up Mount Straight. So Sirius inherits second place right now. Yep. Yeah, they'll be happy in the car 51 shed. Uh, 216 for the previous lap for Sirius. Tim and Jack is overtaking Commander Jim now. Oh, uh, yep. Is Jim out? Oh, yeah, that's Jim there, yep. Yep. So they're still in pit lane, so this is a long, long stop. There he is, he's rolling now. So that car's repaired, but it won't look repaired for the rest of the race. That's it. That's Woody and Dado. Yes, although, it is too. Although Sato's a pit up now, so he'll be laughing. Hanging out there really paid off for him. Oh, Ooh, Dado that... out of nowhere just sent it down the inside of Woody. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Must have felt the grip. He's made the move. Yep, and he's got the move done. So, Highland is in pit lane now. So, maybe the track is drying up now for Slicks. 
Oh, look at Shadow pulling away. So maybe the track is drying off the slicks now. Yeah, it's crunch time. Yeah, that Shadow's really well gone. Oh, he might, he might have inherited the perfect timing for the piss off, but the, the car repairs are really costing a lot of time. Yeah. Because Holland is easily, clearly going to get a pit lane ahead yeah. of him. And Sirius is... Where's Sirius right now? Oh, so Sirius is going to go the extra lap yet. Is he going to inherit the race lead? Uh, by the sounds of it, he will. So Sirius is going to take over the lead. There you go. Swap for the lead here on lap 26 now. It's Highlander lights up kind of pit lane. Look at the spray on that though. It's weird that it's um. Well, pit lane doesn't get driven, so oh, pit lane's always going to be way wetter. Yeah. Here comes Tim and Jack. He's commanded Jim, so that's a change for position again. Yep. Oh, you can. Yep, you can just start to see the draw line now starting to appear now. Mm. So that puddle looks like it's going to be stuck to staying there for quite a while. So the dry line is starting to appear now. Dado and Woody still hanging out there. No, it's not to their liking yet. What did uh, Sato do? 218. That's an outlap. Well, is it? That's an outlap, but that's yeah. still pretty good for an outlap. Yeah. Yeah, looks like Dado's on a mission at the moment. Yeah, he's probably going to try and go a little, little bit further. I think if his lap time starts swinging around the other way, he's down to a 2.10. Ooh. I think, I think he's still always doing quick times, he's just going to stick it out there for now. I reckon too, yeah. Keep an eye on those high temps. He's definitely getting, definitely the sprays and pieces stopped. Oh, big slide there. That's it. That might be the sign to come up with the tyres now, Dark Horse and Pitman as well. That's it. It's way sunny now. There's one damaged Falcon, so these two guys are going to get some repairs here. There we go, front bump bar has been replaced. Yeah, that's but it. Once you, once you start cooking those tyres, they just let go, don't they? And that's what happens. That's it. <coughs> I expect him and Woody will come in this lap. Meta Sirius should be coming in this lap as well. I would say so would be the safe bet. No, no he's going to go one more lap round. No, he's happy out there. Let's we'll see what lap time he does. Jim's out of pits, out of pits. 2.14, so he's still punching out quick lap times. Dado's fast amount there, 2.10. Let's we'll see what Sato does this lap time round. Highland, this is his out lap. Yep. 216, so his outlap was two seconds quicker than Sato's. So it must be still wet in he's got, certain parts of the track. I think the guys still have to negotiate this wet puddle here. Just like that. Yeah, he's very delicate on the throttle, isn't he? 209, yep, it is definitely time for slicks now because Sato is definitely going quicker than Dado. That's it. The wets. Now, Dado stayed out. So, this Woody is the came. lap Dado has to pit now. That's it. Woody Lizard, he's coming in for slicks now. Dark Lord leaves as well, set of slicks on. So, we're going to see lap time start dropping immensely, except for that final puddle. So, he's commanded Jim. Yeah, it's all happening now. That's it. Pretty cool lap. Um, serious? Is serious? Is he small? Is it? Because I'm pretty sure Highland is a little bit further back than that. Oh. That looks clean. Yeah. Might just have a little wiggle somewhere. Oh, rubs the wall and touches the dirt. Yeah, we safe bet now to pit now. Woody's still in pit lane. His dado's in fourth now. Yeah, he's only 30 seconds ahead of Dado, so I think he'll come out behind Dado. Yeah, he'll come out definitely behind Dado, but Dado also has to pit too, so... Oh, true. Yeah, of course. So, in theory, Sirius should leave ahead of um, Dado. Here he comes. Here comes a race leader. This will give the lead back to Highlander again. 
there he is. Let's see how he negotiates the final corner. There's you can see how, as you can see it's dry on the racetrack, but the pit lane it is wet still. Yeah. So Highlander with two oh five. It just shows you these different yeah. time for the slicks now. That's it. Little Sato just had a moment, so there's still a dry line, but I think if you get a bit off it, it's going to be a bit of a moment. Yeah, it's still tricky in there, isn't it? That's it. The Dado should be coming in. for 210, Sato for 207, here comes Dado. Climbs over the curbs there. So the 251 Simsports cars are in pit lane now. So Highlander's got a 20, 22, 21 second lead over Sato. Just about almost 12 laps remaining now. So Woody stayed on the lead lap. Commander Jim's gone down a lap. But only one. So so far we've lost Jim, Tim Jack and Dark, but they're all down a lap now. So I think they'll be counting now on the leaders hopefully maybe peeing again at the end for full fuel maybe. I think try and get that last back. Sirius has left pit lane, so he's keeps third. That's it. Dado's still in pit lane and he's just rolled out now. So Dado's within front of Woody about ten about seconds. seconds. Yep. They're still on the lead lap. So still a bit bit of way to go. Lap twenty eight. We can start at lap 29 now. He's Highlander into the final corner. Oh! Oh, what happened then? Ah, he had a slowdown. He tried to get rid of it. Ah. Yeah, Tim and Jack's and the only one with corner. a time penalty, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, because he's cut the corner trying to get rid of the time penalty. Yeah. You got to maintain a certain slow speed through it. But you can't do that. Oh, timing. Sorry, Darky. Look that snuff through, Commander Jim. That was unfortunate. Yep. As I said, you got to get over that curb, and clearly Sato did it. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. It seemed like he was just wanted to go straight through it, but just didn't do it for him. Yeah, well, it's a puddle and you're on slick tyres, it's not going to help you out. No. So Sato's got a 35 second gap to this man here. That is a lot so closer to Sirius than I thought he was. Yeah. I think Sirius... I mean, 12, 12 seconds behind. Sirius was about 40 seconds before all the pits started. I think he's lost 20 seconds there somewhere. Oh, we'll see what his lap time is. Yep. Yeah, so he's lost about 10 seconds at least. Yes. So that's how he's lost 10 seconds. Ah, uh, yeah. Things like that. Yeah, so the car's still not feeling great. Oh, it's, it's him trying to get used to going from a wet car to a dry car now, so... That's it. So this puddle of doom at the end there. <laughs> you can see how dirty the track is in the front straight there. Yeah, look at it. Mud, the guys have to drag up the front straight. Yeah, so dirt and mud will definitely be playing heavy with the braking zone still. Yep, especially that section on the track. So lap 29 now. Yeah, so Highland is only 30 seconds behind Woody there. 206. Oh, so he's still quicker than Woody. So he's got 10 laps to try and potentially put him down a lap. Let's see how we go. You know, Sato, we'll see how much, how badly damaged his car is with the lap time he's doing. 
207, that's Yeah, he's right there. Yep. So the car's not going to handle well, but if he's, if he's 207, it's going to be alright. Yeah, it should be fine. At least get him to potentially the last stop of the race here. So. I'm just having a look for any track, lap traffic, etc. I think everyone's sort of in no man's land right now. Yeah. Everyone's just still in their own race now. But uh, the car's rendering in the distance there. <laughs> so don't forget, we have an Instagram account, ANZCRL. Go give us a like and a follow over there. We're trying to post it as regularly as we can. We also have the YouTube channel, which is AUS forward slash NZ Combined Racing League. There you can find out all our previous Races up there from BCCC, Indy 500, Le Mans 24 hour, previous Bathurst 1000s. All our races are up, post up there. You also have the website, which is ozaus-nzcrl.weebly.com. So if you don't you find out what we're up to, what series are coming up, and if you'd like to enter our series, you can do it from the website. If you want, if you want to come and join us, if you're an Australian or New Zealander, come to find us on Facebook, which is ozaus slash NZ combined racing league there in the groups answer the three questions and if you're and you want to do some project cars too on Xbox come join us in the group there but you have to answer the three questions if you don't answer the three questions we won't accept you and we, will, we will request you resubmit the uh, answers that's it but you can see the track is really dirty at the bottom of the mountain yeah and it's still that puddle right at the end of the um that start of the chase too so yeah. So those puddles won't be going anywhere. So Jim is down at least one lap here. He's on lap 30. He's starting his lap 30 now. Holland's on lap 31. So Highlander 205. Sato's 206. So yeah, so the damage hasn't hurt Sato that badly. No. Now the car's not going to be great, but it's not hurting him. Highlander isn't pumping out quick lap times right now. The track will begin better and better and better. Yeah. Um, I think that's the fastest lap of this session, 205.7. That's it. But with about nine laps remaining, you don't have to do anything dramatic right now for Sato. He just needs to just stay on the island now. That's it. Like, he may try and push to try and put another car down a lap, but... It wouldn't oh. be smart to try and push too hard at this stage. Well, for high, for, um, high, for for the leader right now, any car that's a lap down, it's one car you don't have to worry about for the final two sessions coming up later this afternoon. That's it. So you really would like to put as many cars as you lap down in this session. This is the perfect session to do it for the wet weather. But now when it's dry, everyone's pace is going to be picking up. That's it. So that's going to become even harder. So you're going to race way faster than everyone else. Well, this... You know, swimming pool here at the, at the end. Remember, swim between the flags in Australia. This could potentially catch people out. That's it. So another 205 behind. He's been extra consistent now. Let's do it up with our race leader.
that's a lap of Mount Panorama with our race leader Holland and Woody's in pit lane now. So this must be, I don't know if this is a ploy or she's got damage. Oh no, he's crunched Ooh, the wall. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But, so this might be a ploy now. Fill the car up, repair the car, and just run it to the end now. That'd be my option right now. You're so close to the end. Ooh, we're gonna need pen and paper soon. Has he gone lap down? Ah, uh, he is now. Oh, that's unfortunate. So Woody has dropped a lap now due to pity. There he goes. Thank you, Meta Jim just got him as well. So Sato still running good lap times, 205. Oh yes, you see on the back of uh, Commander Jim. Looks like his car's trying to talk to us. <laughs> uh, to to so the question is, will cars pit fuel again? I think we'll see Highlander pit. I think that'd be a safe bet. Yeah, they came in at about lap 24, 25, Six, 26. 20, 20, oh, yeah. Oh, that's not Italian on the wall. Yeah, around lap 24, 25. But they can run to the end here if they choose not to pit. If they do 15 laps, I still have about 10 laps of fuel in the tank. It comes down to where do they want to be session three and then how does that lead into session four so if all the extra damage that I just picked up he's not dropping too much time to Highlander right now Yeah, he's about a second slow. Yeah. Which isn't that bad in this back half of the race now. No. It's about six laps remaining. So he's commander serious in third. Surprised that hasn't actually caught him yet now. The pace is evened out now. Yeah. Six is the pair of them. Yeah. I think it's taken serious a few laps to get into the swing of the dry tyres again. Okay. I think for Dado too, he's the next car to go down a lap if he makes a mistake, so he'll probably reach my planet safe now. That's it. About a minute, about a minute 30 behind the leaders right now. So Dado Pierce, he'll drop about a minute. That's it. So then we'll drop him a lap now. <sighs> so he's holding down third quite nicely. It's Tim and Jack. So he's not the race they would have liked to have seen. No, his car should be straight again. Like we're just seeing that, but I'm pretty sure it's all fixed now from that pit stop. Yeah. So for him, the car's fixed. For us, the car's still bent like a banana. That's it. So his lap time, previous lap was a tour. Uh, was it? Seven. So not not yep. that bad, not, not that far off the pace. Woody's was an hour lap. Yeah, 240, so we'll see what Woody does this lap around. Just misses the apex there for the chase. So you can still see the swimming pool still there. Yeah. To plan still havoc. causing havoc with cars. So the way things are going, that's still going to be there till the end of the race. You see the, all the dirt down the front straight. Here's Dark Lord. He's four laps down now. He's on lap 31. He'll lose on lap 35. Oh yeah. That's unfortunate. So that's cost him a lot more laps this session. Is that even a 204? So obviously the damage is in her and him too, mate. Well, 
well, maybe the track conditions are that bad. It's it's everyone's just struggling. And he's just yeah. doing the best out of it. Yep. Who would be in front of him? Would he? Uh, no. no. I think it's probably. I was just about to say it's Command G. <laughs> <laughs> So the 251 Sim Sports cars, they're pretty much running similar lap times. Yeah, I think that is closing up just a little bit. It won't be enough, I don't think. This going to Jim come down to the S now. So the drivers will be a lot more happy at this end of the race now. That's it. Compared to the wet start. Yeah, it grips a nice thing to have, isn't it? That's it. And go on board a Saturday down Conrod. The party on the valley back there. Try through there and then a puddle just there on the right. Yeah, but that's right, but that's easy one to avoid. A little of the mud to the right, the cars are dragging in, so they've had it run for the chase. <laughs> Back to the <laughs> Do it again. That's it. Look at all that mud down the front straight. Mm. The 204. It's a running similar pace to the Highlander. There's Woody Lizard. 205 on his outlap. 204. Yeah, they're all doing that similar. That's it. So it's just serious and data that just beat up all so We're going to have to wait about a minute and a half before they cross the line. That's it. Oh, Dark Lord's had another bad lap. Yeah. Lap before this one. What all it takes is hitting this puddle a bit wrong, isn't it? Get a bit sideways. Oh, hit this puddle here, there, yeah. That's a big accident. That's a skyline. Is this a little wet on? I'm not sure. Because when he took off, I could see the grooves in the tires there. So that's a big accident for Tim Jack. That is a uh, deconstructed Falcon. So we're going to see him lose it in the chase again. Because <laughs> that's always what happens. <laughs> oh. And here comes Commander Jim. Oh, I didn't see it. And that means Sato's not too far behind him. Come on, camera. So Sato's got pass. Let's keep it on uh, Tim and Jack, see if we can ma maintain it to the uh, chase. But generally, when the rear wing goes, the car doesn't make the chase. That's it. Well, he's back to way out of it. Yeah, no, right. he's made it. Playing smart. Yeah, it's not hanging on. Oh, this might give Darkwood a chance to uh, try and catch up. That's it. That's well, Tim Jack's on lap 34 now. He's Highlander. Oh, sorry. Uh, and then Darkwood's 33. Hey, Tim and Jack. Okay. Oh, he's, he's... No, sorted out his pit strap. Like, oh, I've got to... Yeah, exactly. So it's a bit hard to do once you've crashed a car, the car's not travelling in straight lines, it's a bit hard to set your pit strategy up. So That's he it. decides to stop to adjust it, so he comes, get his car repaired. Oh, because his pit bay is one of the first ones, so you uh, don't really have time to yeah. adjust it. Now Duckwood, he's, he's still a lap down, he'll get back on the same lap he'll, when he takes him here. He'll get back in the same lap, yeah, so it depends how long this repair takes for Tim and Jack. Yep. Is he rolling? He is too. That was very quick. No, he hasn't repaired the car. Oh no, that's unfortunate. He hasn't repaired the car properly. So now he's going to have to try and do a <laughs> lap. With an ill handling car. That's it. 
Yeah, you can see he's just... He's on the speed there. limiter. Let's go into gym. Uh, he's got a little bit of time now, but he clear out to try and get through. So Jim really isn't holding up Sato because he's they're pretty much doing some lap times right now. Oh uh, yeah, yep. So probably that little bit of aero damage that Sato has in the front and getting maybe a slight draft of Jim's actually not costing Sato so much straight line pace right now, so Yeah, I was gonna say that draft would be helping him a lot. So on lap thirty eight here for the leader. So if people are gonna be peeing for fuel soon, we'll be seeing it. Next lap. He's Highlander. 34 seconds up the road. Still car a very nice clean, clean car. Yep. That's what I say, it's a very clean car. A little too clean, Highlander. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> curse, 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 curse. <laughs> Good old commentator's curse. No, he's done well. I went as a really good driver in the V8 and Bathurst, isn't he? That's it. This is of all the races he races in, this is the one he wants to win. That's it. Well, he nearly won it last year, didn't he? Until we had a disconnect in the last session. That's it. And he was actually saying to me, maybe I should have taken the last session. And I thought, no, no, you can bring it home. Yeah. Because he was faster than me. Yeah, it would have been on between you guys and, and Dredd and that. Alright, so let's see if Highlander pits. If not, we can start recording fuel. Uh, next, next lap. Oh, Cherry, yep. So I should be concerned about that for myself when I'm doing race. Hey, wait, wait. Is it the start of <laughs> lap 39? Or is it on lap 39? <laughs> there he goes. There's uh, Tim and Jack making pit lane again. So hopefully he's got, hopefully he's got his car repaired this time around. The smart option for him. Yep, there we there go. There we go. So the smartest would be to fill this car up right now, because this is pretty much going to be the lap for fuel miles for him. Yeah. And we're starting for it actually. We'll come through the mountain. So. See how long it takes for him to get there. So let's head to Highlander. There he is, so he's come to the mouth. So still a while. So, so far, four cars are down lap and four cars on the lead lap right now. That's it. Uh, Sirius and Dado are going a lot quicker than the first two. Yeah. Very force. Just knows that. So, but those two have just found a nice rhythm. Can I the well, is just, well, Highland is just backing it off a bit. Yep. Not to make mistakes, not to crash the car. Yeah, find the fuel gets to a sweet spot, doesn't it, with the, the car balance and that? That's it. Some people have got that set up for early, some people have got that set up for late. Pitch is in quite nice in the forest over, so it comes down to Conrad. Alright, well, let's bring up the uh, speedo now. So we'll see if he pits. And I think the guys will lap down, like Commander Jim and Woody are really hoping that these guys would come in, I think. That's it, so here we go, so he comes. Ooh, no, he he's, gonna, <laughs> he's gonna face it. You funny boy. It's a Highlander. So he is going to have will be 52 litres. You funny boy, Highlander. So clearly he's gone for track position, so Sato's definitely going to pick now. But he's got like almost a minute ahead of him, so he can practically get the fuel, just come and get fuel and get out. Yeah.
So Sato pits now. Alright, so he'll be full fuel. And that is Commander Jim behind him. There goes Woody. Woody's going to... No, he's a lap down, but he's going to continue on. So Woody's going to be... 82. Sato fuel fills at 112, I believe. Uh, that is Commander Jim as well. Yep. I'll make sure they actually fuel up when they leave. Yeah, so we'll wait. So here's Cirrus. So Cirrus is going to continue on. Yeah, I feel like these two don't really have a choice, do they? He's going to be 62 litres. What about Dado? Dado's going to be 61 litres. Sato, what's Sato got? It should be a full tank. Full. Oh. Yep, 112, yep. And there's Whoa. a trade race up the front, up Mount Straight. But Sato's got the inside line, and that series has got the move done. Uh, Oh, Sirius has crunched the wall. Oh no, I'm right at the final end there. Uh, let's go to, to Jim quickly. Full. I can't see his fuel numbers. Uh, 112. He's full. 112. Uh, what about uh, Tim Knack? Tim Jack's got a 100. 100. And, and Dark Lord. Uh, he's currently at 54. Alright. So Highlander wins session two here. But well, Commander Sirius has decided to uh, drunk punch the wall here. So let's see if, if Dado is going to try and make a move on him. And he does. So Sirius being clean all race, no mistakes. Finally does one at the final on the final lap. If you're going to do it, that's the one to do it on. Well. At least now you can't go a lap down, that's for sure. That's it. So, top four on the lead lap still. That has crossed the line. I know. Oh, well, you still got to get to that final corner and get to the swimming pool. That's got to run behind him, too. Final corner. Yep, doesn't he, the pilot doesn't make a mistake. And Sato comes home in second. Dado in third. And Commander Sirius, the one mistake cost him third, third place, finishes in fourth. This Woody Lizard, he's still going. Is Woody still going? I don't think he should be. I do. Oh, no. That's it. There's last go. What a race. That's it. So, Highlander wins that session two over Sato 15. Dado Racer inherits third after Commander Sirius Pole drives the wall into turn two. Woody Lizard lap down in fifth. Commander Jim a lap down in sixth. Tim and Jack two, uh, a couple laps down in 37. And Dark Lord, the same on lap 37. Oh, a 16 second penalty for Tim and Jack. Ouch. Oh, yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> That's a big penalty. It is. So look at the top four best lap times all till fifth 204, 204, <laughs> 204, 204, 204. Everyone's in the 204s. That's crazy. Yeah, the top so, four that, within, went to, to, within 0.1 of a, tenth of a, of a second. second. Yep. So that's it for us here. So session three will be coming up in, I think, about half an hour's time, I believe, at three o'clock. Yep. So until then, we'll catch you then. Thanks, everyone.